Hey Cupcakes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this spooky Easter bunny look. First off, we're going to start by making the teeth. I have this multiple plastic that I put in some water and then I microwave that for about 60 seconds. Let it cool down a little bit and then I pinch off just a little bit, roll it in between my hands and make it into a sharp little tooth and then I shape it back and forth and then I make about 30 of these. Next, I'm making our liquid latex paste, just taking liquid latex and flour. I add in the flour bit by bit. After I stir some, I add a little bit more flour, that way I can keep the consistency where I want. Kind of like a cookie dough consistency. I apply it right on top of my face cast. If you do not have a face cast, you definitely need to make a face cast. I will post a video on how to make one here shortly, but you can find one on my Instagram or on any YouTube video. All I'm doing is just taking a little bit of liquid latex on my finger and I've just flattened out the surface of that liquid latex paste that I put down and then just using the end of a brush and my fingers to also smooth it down by dipping it into the liquid latex and laying it down flat. I got these eyes from Amazon, so I'm just pushing some of those eyes into the liquid latex paste that I'm laying down. This is very, very sped up. This is something that you do wanna take your time with. You have about 15-ish minutes to play with the liquid latex before it starts kind of creating like an outer film on it. I'm just pushing in some of those teeth into the liquid latex too before it creates that film that I was telling you about because you definitely want to have the things that you need to put into the liquid latex to already have that into it before it starts drying because if not you would have to puncture it and it's going to create you issues in the future. Pro tip, using a thinner liquid latex will provide the best liquid latex paste I've found. Once you have everything in place, you're just gonna let this dry for a couple days. Moving on to the ears, I got this fur from Amazon and the wire from Amazon as well. I'm just making them into these little bunny ears. I cut out the pieces that I needed for my fur and I'm just hot gluing those pieces over, overlapping it to make sure that it's touching the fur and hot glued perfectly in. And I made these really, really big. They did not need to be this large. I left myself about five or six inches left of that wire so that I could push it through this headband that I have and then just wrap it around that headband to get it nice and secured. To paint the inside of the ears, I'm just using some Mayron water activated paints in pink, red, yellow, and white. I'm getting started to paint on the base of my prosthetic and I'm using this pale green cream paint that I mixed up. Using a cream paint as your base, I feel is the best way to start. If you try to use any type of face paints on top of this, it usually doesn't really stick to it and it doesn't look as good. I'm contouring with a dark blue eyeshadow. I did this TikTok picks my filters and how to pick my base, my contour, and my highlight. And these are the colors that it picked. I'm using this light pink cream paint just to add some highlights. On the teeth, I'm using a dark blue for the root. I used like a off white for the base of the teeth and then a light pink to fill in for like kind of grime. I wanted it to look like the mouth was snarling, so I drew a gum line and then painted on a gum as well. Next, I'm taking the Mayron Color Set Powder and I'm powdering around the edges of the prosthetic and then I'm lifting up the edges bit by bit and placing the powder underneath each little piece of the prosthetic that I'm lifting up. Please take your time with this. Sometimes I also use a little flat tool to get underneath the prosthetic and this helps me also lift it up a little bit by little bit with having to try to like stick my fingers in between the prosthetic and the face cast. So take your time with this and just make sure that you're really powdering and like oversaturating the prosthetic with powder so that it doesn't stick to itself and then it so it releases easily from the plaster. Next, you're gonna make sure to powder the inside of the prosthetic. Make sure to oversaturate it because sometimes it might still be a little wet. So saturate it and that'll make sure to create a dry surface for you. With some tiny scissors, I'm cutting out the mouth hole and getting just as close up into the mouth as possible so I can just cut off all that extra. And then with some larger scissors, I'm going around the outside, cutting around the edges, trying to leave a little bit of the edge there because the thinner the edge on the outside, the easier it is to blend. But if you do have blunt edges, then that's what it is and you just gotta work with what you got. 
if the eyes or the teeth were to fall out then I just super glue them back on and give yourself about a day's worth of it drying so that you're not getting any type of fumes close to your face. It's application time and I'm applying some Elmer's glue stick right on top of my one eyebrow that prosthetics is going to cover. I'm taking the Mehron Paradise paints in brown and black and just painting right over my mouth where the prosthetic is going to sit so that you can't really see the inside of my mouth. And then I'm taking some liquid latex and applying it onto my face, not getting it in my hair or on my eyebrow. Even though the one eyebrow is completely coated, I don't really like to put liquid latex on top of that. Once I have the liquid latex on my face and in my mask, I apply the mask right onto the center of my face and then edging it out until I get to the edges and then I make sure that the edges are nice and secure to my face and it's sitting properly. If you put it on and it doesn't sit properly, remove it and restart. The last thing that you want is a prosthetic on your face so you know it's not sitting there correctly. Next, I'm taking a sponge with a little bit of liquid latex on it to start blending out the edges. I normally would use something smaller like a q-tip or something like that to get the edges as thin as possible, but use what you got and just make sure to try to blend out the end edges as much as possible. With the same green cream paint that we used earlier for the prosthetic, I'm just going to be applying that all over my face for my base and then going in with the dark blue cream paint to contour out my face just like I did on the prosthetic. Friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. Thank you. Off camera, I went ahead and drew out an eye socket and then now I'm stippling on this light pink body paint with this stipple sponge. I wanted to create this really interesting texture and just apply it to make sure that it all looks in unison with the prosthetic. I'm taking some liquid latex and just dotting it around in random spots on my face so that I can lay down some of that fur that I used for the ears. I'm also going to be applying that to my face in little patches so that it can look really interesting and give it that extra creep factor with that sparse hair. I always like to give my hair a really good tease so here I am just teasing up my hair and then I'm going to be putting on my ears. I want to make sure that my hair is as crazy as possible so that I can kind of pull that hair right over top of the ears on the headband and hide that headband. And then you just bend your ears and get them in the shape that you want. I got some really awesome lenses from Miss Lens. And here's our final look. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe. See you in the next one.